Ron's looking at the key like, out and everything. Ron's looking at you like, Oh my God, Tom, don't you want to be a viewer? Okay. I hear you. I heard you. We don't have anybody in the chat yet. We're waiting for people to come on. Hmm. Oh, there's just Peacock Nuts and Nicholas Johnson. And Troy Shepard and the Scotch Sonnet, mostly machines. What's up, guys? Good morning, Don Donus. Hey, for those of you who don't know, this is Dean. What's happening? Pull up a chair, Annie. You bucket? You gotta come over here. Annie. You gotta come over some more. And this is Annie. And Tom's over uh, over there doing a test batch. We're just test batch, Tom. Yeah, we're just having fun at the farm, getting ready to shoot another uh, episode of a TV show that you guys are going to see. Uh, I think we're shooting tomorrow afternoon and all day Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you all are doing great. Thanks for asking, Scott Sonnet. I figured I'd just jump on. We forgot to do the uh, hot sauce testing the other day. And Dean and Annie are here. Uh, these guys are family to me. All right. They're at our house all the time. And uh, we just went on a vacation and work, work, what do you call it? Work, workation or? Uh, workation? Uh, or uh, they workation, something like that. We were working and on vacation. Yeah. It was beautiful. Oh, gotcha. uh, so I love you guys and I missed you and we'll try to do I didn't get to last weekend was just chaotic Linda finally came home and uh, I had to move a bunch of stuff in the house and I missed doing my uh, live stream hey Tom everybody's asking to see you they want to know where you are just when you can pop over and wave. Okay. Oh, it's causing stress in Tom's life. <laughs> stress. It is. Oh, Dean, will you grab a handful of spoons? So there he is. Say yo, yo. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Tommy P, chilling like a villain with the man, the myth, the legend, Ed Curry. We got Dean and Annie in the house today. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm busy. Love y'all. Love y'all. Hey, on the last live stream, someone commented on my yellow teeth. I can show you pictures from when I was a child where my teeth are yellow, too. Uh Back in the 60s, they gave kids a drug uh, that caused all the color in your bones and your teeth to disappear. So uh, my teeth are yellow. I don't care. Uh, they're healthy. and I still love you. I, You know, I don't care. Uh, but that's the explanation for yellow teeth, because someone asked, why are your teeth yellow? <laughs> Uh, that's it. Uh, they are crooked too, and I have to go to the dentist four times a year for cleaning because I broke my jaw several times uh, when I was a young kid because I like to fight. <laughs> I still like to fight, but now I do it with up level karate and I get my ass kicked <laughs> by a bunch of 20 year olds, but I'm still out there. Uh, here you go ahead. All right, so the first hot sauce. I don't know which one is mild. <laughs> ah, who cares? The first one we're gonna try. My good friend, my good friends, Cal and Heidi, have this have this hot sauce company out in Humboldt, California, called Humboldt Hot Sauce, and the first one here is Trinidad Stinger. It's blackberries, blueberries, scorpion, 
and smoke ghost peppers. This is, you know, I've had all his sauces and I had them in my fridge and I ran out and I was like, I haven't seen cow. He hurt, he, he hurt himself and he missed the Portland Expo and he didn't come out to any other expos. And then he went on vacation in Hawaii and fell down on a volcano or something and was in the hospital for six months. And I hadn't seen him in a while, so I gave him a ring and I ordered some hot sauce for the store. So these hot sauces that we're trying today, you can actually get at the store if you'd like. Uh, we're not trying to sell anything. We're just trying to tell you what tastes good. Uh, you can also go to the their website and buy it. And it's carried in a lot of different stores. But I don't even remember what this tastes like. Do you remember, Dean? I don't. Because we've had this. You can smell the berries. Yeah. Mm. It's got a good berry taste to it. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. The well, heat, the heat level's not over the top either. It's, it's kind of a medium. Yeah, I would say medium. Yeah. Uh, the smoked ghost pepper comes out. The yep. scorpion burn is there, but it's not overbearing and it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, normally, I get a really bitter flavor from scorpion peppers. Yeah. Uh, but those berries are overpowering that and the sweetness comes through. I saw, oh, thanks, Tone Ranger. Uh, the, uh, someone said about shipping to Mexico, we now have FedEx guaranteed delivery. Uh, so if you want to try using the FedEx option, you can probably get whatever you're looking for delivered to Mexico. It is spotty down there. That's why we stopped delivering before, because we used to get pictures from customs thanking us for all the hot sauce, and they would eat it. <laughs> so, Annie, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say is, a, is the flavor? I would say probably... That was eight. That was an eight. That was you good. say an eight on flavor. What about you, Dean? I'd say seven or eight, yeah. I'm going to give it a solid eight. That tasted really good, and I'm going to put it on some uh, pork sausage that we got in the crock pot tonight. That's, that sounds like it would go good with pork. Yeah. Very good. Uh, on the scale of one to ten on heat, what would you give it? Um, I would, me personally, about a four or five. Five? Yeah, maybe. Four, three. Yeah, I was going to say three. Yeah. But, you know, I'm out. messed up. It would probably be hot <laughs> to normal <laughs> people. <laughs> These are my friends. We eat hot stuff all the time. These two have eaten Pepper X. Is Pepper X hot? Oh, brutal. <laughs> brutal. Look at Annie's. Annie's all demure back there. She's like, oh, hmm. Just smiling. <laughs> Normally, you can't keep her mouth shut. Hey now. Okay. Hey now. All right. So let's try. This. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Come thumbs on. Thumbs up for me. Let's get the thumbs up thing going. Oh, where is it? Tom, it won't do it. Normally, up. a little thumbs up pops up oh. there. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, All right. Joe Pa. If you want what used to be El Jefe taco sauce, either the green, the red, or the hot one. Hey, Bill Tennant. I let them know about FedEx. Uh, any of the Rojos, any of the El Jefes, you can go to a company called uh, Hotbox 505. They're located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They do ship. And we rebranded their the Hefe's under their name. And I, I'm letting them sh sell them because they're my friends. They support us. And they have a really good business. So Hotbox 505 if you want the El Hefe. 
The Cannabis Tutor. I've never seen that name. Hey, guys, and I need to remind you, see that little thumbs up up there? You need to smash it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Up at the top corner. Uh, also, this little button down here uh, with the hearts and the 100% and the little taco, everything. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And we're going to get this channel to 150,000 real, view, real viewers. And when we do, we're going to have the 15-day giveaway where I'm going to give away, uh, I don't know, hundreds of bottles every day. Who knows? Maybe it's only 25. It depends. Linda pays for shipping. She <laughs> decides how much I give away. Uh, so, uh, tomorrow, uh, sometime in the afternoon, I'll put up a post beforehand in the community We'll be doing the giveaway. We're going to give away some uh, some of the new products. We've got everything labeled now, I think. So I'm going to just give away white labels of the new products tomorrow. 250K would be great, Sander Martin, but I'd like to get to 150K. But I want real people. I don't want to buy fake. You know, there's a lot of people out there who get fake followers. Okay. They've got 140,000 followers, 150,000 followers. They got a thousand views. That doesn't equate. So we're going to get real people and real views and all the money from this channel. Uh, everything you guys donate, everything we sell on the channel, everything we earn for the streams is going to go to the Brooklyn Angels. And the Brooklyn Angels are a group that feed the homeless, the indigent, and the shut-ins all over the city of Brooklyn. Uh, really good cause. And one of the reasons, I have never said it, but one of the reasons that I do it for them is because they're located right where my grandma was born. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's a good thing. What's the next sauce? All right. We got Humboldt Hot Sauce, Cannibal Island. Cannibal Island? Cannibal Island. What? This is one of his new ones. Uh, 13th year anniversary limited batch. I happen to know they're 15 years old now, so it can't be that limited. It's got yellow onion, yellow pepper, lime juice, distilled vinegar, pineapple, mango, habanero, Trinidad scorpion, Carolina reaper mash. I know who supplies that. I know somebody. Yeah. Ginger, garlic. Scotch bonnet, chili pepper, guava nectar, can or raw, sea salt, turmeric, cumin, thyme, black pepper, and allspice. Wow. Wow. That's a flavorful mouthful. <laughs> you know, one time I made a sauce with 42 ingredients just because Noah up at Heatness always says, why don't you add a little of this? So I took all the times he said, add a little of this to one of my recipes. I took every single thing that he's ever said to add, and I put it in the hot sauce. Was it good? It was really good, but I haven't uh, bottled it yet, you know, for public. <laughs> but I sent it to him for Christmas as a gag gift. Mm. All right. I'm supposed to be reading these comments, but they're just going, they're going like crazy. So, and I didn't even know there was something called comment revenue. Uh, someone told me ab about that. Uh, All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this one, real you can smell the pineapple right up front. Got that scorpion right away. I'm surprised with all the pepper, it's not that hot. No. But there's some, do you guys have a, like a pasty taste in your mouth? Yeah, a little bit. 
Yeah, something's pasty. I mean, it would be good on food, but eating it straight, there's something in there that maybe it, the guava was uh, powder instead of. It's just something pasty. Mm. I really don't get any reaper burn. I'm getting a scotch, you know, the uh, scorpion. Yeah. And a little bit, little bit from the scotch bonnet. Because uh, they burn in different places in your mouth. Their emerald sauce is amazing. Yes, I've had the pepper do pepper, and it's really good. And uh, we we actually grow some every year. Uh, flavor wise, Annie, scale of one to ten. You got to be honest. We're not, even though they're our friends, we're not. You know. It's like a six for me. I love that one. I didn't, you know, for me, I'm going to say five because that that pineapple smell didn't come through when I was eating it. And then there was that pasty taste. Tom, you want to try this? What? <laughs> we just tried the, the tropical spice. You tell me. Yeah, he was, he, awesome. he was mouthing someone something to me, but I can't. Silent scream doesn't work. Is it too hot? I, I'm, I'm gonna, the heat was okay. Let's see. What is it? I'm not a huge fan of that one. Yeah. Five? That one there? Yeah. What number are you going to give it? Yeah, I got cumin in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's is that the grittiness. Or? Maybe that's I mean, the grittiness. I mean, I don't like the aftertaste, but the initial taste is good. Yeah. yeah. The aftertaste is, is that, has he got salt mash in it? No. I don't, no. I don't, no. I don't think Cal uses salt no, mash. No, salt no mash. Cal doesn't use salt mash at all. There's a, there's a taste of something. No, it's flavorful. It all of you, wasn't. you're welcome for the, the hot sauces. Go ahead, dude. I, I would give that one probably on my scale a four or five. For flavor or heat? Flavor. What about heat? Heat, I would probably give it about a seven, maybe a six. XL Gaming, shouldn't you be in school? <laughs> I mean, I like the initial flavor of it. Do you? Like, I think maybe on food. That's what I said, on food. Yeah. Like on like a taco or something or inside <clears throat> a burrito. Like it wants to be like a taco-ish sauce. It's got a funky aftertaste, though. Like, yeah. Like, I, 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 I know Cal does yeah. salt mash, but it's got that, you know, that salt mash aftertaste. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Codename Viper, what did you think of the curry churry and the uh, Irish sauce? Well, bye, people. All right. All right. All right. See, it's hard to do this and read the comments. Mm. And I can't even see that far to read the comments. Ah. <laughs> well, let's try the last one. All right. <laughs> this one is called Traffic Star from Ginger Goat. This Canuck. Yeah. You got a Canadian here. Good people. The, they're real good people. They make good sauce. And... I've got them coming down for the Strawberry Festival. So we're going to have Canada for the first time at the Strawberry Festival. He's a brother from another mother. Yeah, him and Errol could kind of be a uh, family. You know, they, they both got redheads. Oh, Brett Rogers is calling. I've got to talk to him real quick. You take over, Dean. All right. Yeah, hello. So here we go. Uh, hey. Ginger Goat Tropic yeah. Star right there it's good stuff and you'll have to excuse me my eyes are kind of bad apple cider vinegar i, I did the number Mango, from his list rice vinegar bell peppers super hot peach mash lemon juice can you read that go ahead uh, 
direct up. Sorry, I'm on a live stream and I, I did this directly on this thing. It says bread, sugar, 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 cilantro, star anise, and white pepper. Yeah. It's what happens when you look at a computer for too long through your life. You lose your vision. Yeah. So let's go with this one. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. Right off a good citrusy taste. I'll bring it, o I'll bring it over and show you. Um, Okay. I really like that one. That one was uh, right. flavor. That one was very good. I would uh, I would probably rate that one on a flavor scale of up in the eight. Um, Who's this? That's Ginger Goat, Tropic Star. The heat level, I'm going to probably say the heat's going to be somewhere five or six for me. It's Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, maybe... Maybe a little lower. I'm just trying to see. I love I love that citrus taste. It, I do too. It yeah. Was good. So. Yeah. That uh, one, go ahead. I would say that one's probably out of all of them. That one's probably my favorite. And then, uh, then the Trinidad Stinger. Yep. We didn't even give the thumbs up or the thumbs down on Cannibal Island. I'm gonna go sideways on Cannibal Island. It's not a bad sauce. It's not my favorite. Uh, I, I think I'll go with thumbs up, but it wasn't my favorite, but I, it, it was good tasting sauce. Okay. And then on uh, this Tropic Star, flavor-wise. I'll definitely do a thumbs up on that one. That was good. Oh, there it is. There it is. It worked. Oh, maybe there was too many. Let's see. Thumbs up. It just doesn't like my thumb today. Thumbs up. <laughs> maybe too close. No. <laughs> Uh, Tropic Star. I, honestly, I've only had the test batches of that. I still have the test batch in my fridge, but this production batch is is really good. Uh, I wish that they had given us the emerald sauce for Cal. I love that emerald sauce. Uh, but this is what the team picked at the store, and this is what uh, we're reviewing today. Uh, so overall, all of the sauces are good. I would only eat the Cannibal Island on food. And you're, you know, you're really supposed you're to eat your hot eat sauce, sauce on food. On food. Right. Well, no, not me. I, well, we try it. I, I eat sauce. bottles of it. <laughs> I, I do. I eat a sauce all the time. I think that would be good on a fried rice or something. I that What, that? Island. The Cannibal Island? You say fried rice? Yeah, like a some kind of a carb, you know. Tom said tacos. What do you say, Annie? Um, I think tacos more than fried rice. Really? But I really like fried rice. Yeah. I I think the Cannibal Island would do, that would be really good, like on a pulled pork sandwich. You know, or maybe some chicken. Cooking chicken. In it. Chicken. chicken might be a good yeah. You know? We'll have to try that. Well so. we will have to try that. Absolutely. Uh so yeah, overall, I think all three are delicious. I just didn't like the aftertaste on the Cannibal Island. Uh, and I'm going to bring these bottles home and put them in my own fridge, uh, which I don't do very often on stuff I taste. So I'm giving it a big thumbs up all the way across, even though I gave the one a sideways two out of three or up. So that's three out of three. Uh, yeah. Except for, see this uh, ginger goat? Did we show you the bottle? Ginger goat. Look at that goat. Something about it isn't right. Uh, I th thumbed it down. No. no it, was, it was the, it took it as a thumbs down. Oh. <laughs> what, really? Yeah, because the way you hold the bottle. Oh, so that's funny. But, you know, I tease Chris all the time because it looks like that goat is wearing a tan. It kind of looks like Chris a little bit. Without the it horns. does look like Chris a little <laughs> bit. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to have a goat on, on there, you should make it, you know, mm, I don't know, more realistic. Oh, we love, okay. we love Chris. We do love Chris. I'm just giving him shit. And Tosh. But. You know, the ginger ram did beat the ginger goat. The ginger ram did get more votes than the ginger goat. 
Uh, uh, let's see. What am I supposed to say again? Okay, smash the thumbs up button up top. Hit the star thing down here. You got to make these things go. Ooh, 100%. And like, subscribe, and share. Someone said so many ads. America First says Ginger Goat Tropic Star is our favorite. Someone asked when... Uh, I don't know what's going on with the ads, guys. I might just turn them off, but the revenue would be less, and then I wouldn't be able to donate as much to the uh, Brooklyn Angels. So it's really a quandary. Uh, what was I saying? Like, subscribe, and share. Oh, the Strawberry Festival is the first weekend in May. I think it's May 4th. I don't remember. Yeah, it's a one-day festival. One-day festival, music, food, booze, hey. hot sauce, strawberries, strawberry shortcake. Also, there's going to be, last year there were 290 people vending stuff. I mean, you can get your house fixed or you can buy trinkets that and you is. can you can get really cool wood stuff. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. I can't wait till you have your pepper eating contest again, man. That there was more people there for there. Shut down the town of Fort Mill. Yeah, well, you know that might be coming up soon, Dean. Oh man, that was a fun time. Are you gonna get in it? Oh, I might. I might. Yeah, we do a strawberry hot sauce. It's called Peyton's Hot Strawberry. It's for sale right now. The strawberries are starting to come in. Really good on cheesecake. Awesome. It's awesome on cheesecake. So Uh, I didn't know there was such a thing as ad free on YouTube. I'll have to look into that. Actually, I don't watch anything on YouTube unless one of you guys send it to me. And then I'm willing to sit through the ad so you get paid. Uh, hmm. Oh, the black cherry was a solid 10. Ugh. Oh. I miss that. Maybe we should make that one again. I like the black cherry too. Okay. Well, I got some work to do, guys. I just uh, I just realized I never I saw the sauces and I realized I never did it. And Tom got them out of the car and we're we're good to go. Tom, do you want to give any parting words to anybody? No. Tom looks a little upset. He's not upset. Not upset. He's just working hard. I'm working. Andy, someone said you're hotter than Pepper X. I, this, <laughs> this is this is my parting words. Okay, uh, based on what I'm doing right now, you can always reset your day, even if you have to reset it minute by minute. You can always reset your day. Start looking for gratitude in everything you do. If you see the positive, then you don't see the negative. If you're living a positive with a positive attitude, you'll be happier. You'll be smiling more. And if you smile at people on the street, that makes their day. Your positivity can flow. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Woo! Thumbs that, up. <laughs> that's a good thing, Tom. I like it, Tom. Listen, someone I Elijah's black cherry is great. I just love, you know, it's a uh it makes me feel good when I make a, a limited edition sauce and then other people uh, make a sauce that's kind of the same and, uh, you know, spread it out to the world. Uh, I love Elijah's stuff. We carry it in the store. I've known him since before they sold their first bottle. He's, he actually said that I'm the reason he got into hot sauce. Uh, and that just makes me proud and humbled. I love you guys. God bless you all. Be grateful for one another. Definitely. Be happy with what you have. Don't worry about what other people have. They're looking at you and going, I wish I had that. Okay? Do something kind for one of your neighbors. Break bread with your friends. You know? Life is meant to be enjoyed. Don't get involved in the minutiae. Don't get dragged down by drama. Remember, as Tom said, you can always reset your day.
Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you. That money goes to the Brooklyn Angels. I appreciate you. I love y'all. Take care. We're signing off. Peace, everybody. Bye-bye. Donuts. Oh, man.